Today we're going to do a variation on our felt lettuce pattern to make it into cauliflower. You're just going to change up the colors of the leaves. You can see the middle little leaves are going to be white. The medium leaves will either be yellow like the one in my hand or green like the one on the right and the larger leaves will be green. You can download our free template for these uh, leaf patterns over on SweetBarSisters.com. You're going to need three little leaves or sometimes I use five medium leaves and five large leaves. I went ahead and printed this onto a sticky mailing label so that my leaf pattern would stick right to the felt. You could also trace it on to freezer paper and iron it onto your felt and it would achieve the same effect. Or uh, you could just um, print it onto normal paper and use it like a traditional pattern as well. Once you've got all of your leaves cut out, you can go ahead and start gluing them onto a one inch felt ball. You'll just put a little line of glue along one side of one of those white leaves um, so that just the side is sticking on and the other side is sticking up. Then with the second leaf, you're going to put glue all the way across so that it will stick all the way. You're going to overlap your leaves a little bit with the third and final leaf you'll overlap it and you have that last little edge sticking up there that you can stick some glue on and stick down. You're going to move on to your medium sized leaves. You can do these either yellow or green. Um, I have examples of both in my photo. These ones are just green the same color as my larger leaves and you are going to put a little bit of glue along the bottom of each leaf and you're going to glue it just below the bottoms of those uh, white leaves that you use to cover your ball to create the cauliflower head um, and you can do four or five leaves on this section um, depending on how much you want them to overlap right here i'm doing four Once those have dried, you'll go ahead and start adding your larger leaves. And this time, as you press them, you'll press them in between um, the medium sized leaves. And as you press them, you'll kind of pinch them so that they flare out a little bit. And I like to overlap these a little bit, and you'll definitely want five at least of these so that they can fit all the way around, not just four. Again, if you get if you put on five and they're overlapped enough and then and then you have some extra room you can always add a sixth one it's pretty easy to adjust that as needed You can be done right there, or if you wanted to add a little bit of definition to that cauliflower head, you can use a light gray Sharpie marker. I'm using one with a fine tip. And just put in some little half moon little dashes just to add a little definition. 